day YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning New Daily Events Worldwide. We are on September 23rd, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet, and welcome to a different way of looking at our sun. But this shows the magnetic field lines around a coronal hole, and that is what is about to be Earth facing, and that is a very large coronal hole still growing. We just had a departing one and plasma in between. Solar Dynamics Observatory is not producing any movies right now. So I cannot share uh, an animated loop of these images. So this is what I'm sharing today is photos with the magnetic field lines present. Have a full understanding of what our sun is capable of. Let's get to earthquakes here. Last 24 hours, most recent being here, a 4.7, 59 kilometer depth in the Philippines. 5.1 here in Baja, in Indonesia. And that is right close to Krakatoa Volcano. And as well, Mount Merapi, which is one of my most favorite. At 4. Point, sorry, 5.2 there in. Mariana's Trench. And largest earthquake last 24 hours, a 5.3 here in Chile at a 10 kilometer depth. Central America, 4.6 here in Mexico. And then watching minor activity straight across the North American plate, California. 3.1 here in Arizona. That's pretty rare. A couple minor earthquakes. Oklahoma. And then a 2.5 being recorded in Winham, Virginia. So a small increase across the North American plate. Still watching aftershocks in Albania. 4.6 being recorded. And a 4.4 Greece. 4.5 yesterday. And at 4.4 here in the middle of Russia. But definitely things have quieted down a bit in Alaska and along the Aleutian Islands. Watch as that large low pressure system I was talking about early in the week to start affecting that area. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. As you can see, Every major continental plate is dealing with deep earthquakes right now. Especially throughout the Philippines and in Indonesia, Tonga region. But we're watching this quiet zone, North American plate. Not many large earthquakes as of late. So stay aware and prepared. Please have a plan and be ready. Stay tuned to Morning Dew so that you can be updated when anything happens. Cascadia Fault Line, San Andreas Fault Line, be on watch. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here. Overlooking cloud cover, the Pacific Ocean right now, and both the Pacific and the Atlantic right now dealing with a large atmospheric river stretching straight across the ocean, which is crazy. And you can see one here across North America too. We have Tropical Storm Mario and as well Tropical Storm Jerry and Karen. Now Jerry's heading out into the open sea. Karen may jot left, west, and come into Florida Panhandle. We're going to have to see there the next 24 hours. Flooding conditions in Arizona. Flooding conditions throughout Midwestern United States as well. Those pretty nasty storms that ran through Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Tropical Storm Etapa. And also here we're looking at Tropical Storm Haika. Now Haika is heading straight into Oman as a Category 1 storm. But hitting very dry air, of course. The Saudi Arabia Desert won't be much of a moisturous event, but will bring some heavy winds and some rain to the coastal lines. Also watching here, Tropical Storm Lorenzo, 
who I talked about a couple days ago, I saw was forming, and now it's alive. Lorenzo is alive and will be a very strong Category 3 storm by the time it hits the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Quick rundown of all the volcanoes that just recently got updated. Those were the major alerts from the Pacific Disaster Center here. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by MeteorEarth, Meteo Mike, starting out overlooking North America. As you can see, that large low-pressure system over the Hudson Bay starting to fuel down those blue colors, and that means cold. Across Northwest Territories, Alaska, BC, and into Alberta. Have a look here at the storms. You can see the trajectory of Jerry heading out to the middle of the ocean. Karen to follow. And then of course, Tropical Storm Lorenzo here. As you can see, even in the three day forecast is a very strong and dominant storm. Large high pressure ridge really fueling that storm. Now it might actually head into parts of Spain and Portugal later in the week and they've been dealing with so many disastrous flash floods and extreme storms large low pressure system here over the United Kingdom and Russia but definitely watching things intensify across the northern hemisphere as that polar vortex is really starting to swirl things around the systems are getting bigger and they're getting stronger so winter is definitely on its way and we just started fall. That's right, folks, but we're global warming. We gotta listen to Greta. Overlooking the United States, watch for a very strong and dominant cold front to sweep through and will bring thunderstorms throughout the Eastern seaboard and as well through central United States but here looking in Alberta as things really start to change here and you can see that snow will be falling in the foothills this week. Even the weather network now is saying that we're going to get some snow on Friday night. Two days after I had said we're going to get snow Friday night. <laughs> Just saying. But I want to thank everybody for joining Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide posting my severe weather analysis you can see here temperatures not reaching above 13 degrees over the next week don't forget to hit that like button i know i'm all over the place today but man it's a busy day and please stay aware and prepared and thank you for watching welcome all new subscribers friends and family to the family don't forget to hit that like button here's trajectory of tropical storm haika heading into oman And we'll have a look at the Southern Hemisphere. As, as I said earlier, the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere are really starting to ramp up these large low pressure systems. They're getting bigger, they're getting stronger, and we're definitely not warming. Thank you all for watching today. I'll leave you here with images of the Southern Hemisphere. Five day forecast. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye bye.